Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog, another day. It feels like forever since I have actually done a normal vlog. Last vlog you guys saw was my vacation vlog. What do we got for breakfast this morning, guys? Pizza. Popsicles. Everybody just woke up if you Me can't too. tell. They saw it, say. Um, honestly, I haven't vlogged all week since we got home from vacation because it's been really, really crazy here with my mom. Yeah. I have to get some coffee in me quick and then the kids and I are going over for my mom's for her morning routine. But when we got home from vacation, getting back into the swing of things with my mom, she's suffering with another UTI and catheter issues. And it's just been really, really crazy here. So I haven't had a peaceful moment to pick up this camera and vlog for you guys, but I figured today was as good a day as any. Amelia it has school tomorrow, so this is her last day of summer vacation, right? Me do. And you need to do something with your hair and take a shower today and get normal. <laughs> we are gonna grab the tall boy today because it's one of those mornings. What is on my cup? I'm gonna make some pumpkin kind of cold brew mixture here i'll show you guys so i've got my stoke iced coffee and then i've got just this hazelnut creamer i'm gonna add this some of this um agave pumpkin spice and some of this pumpkin what do you call this like pumpkin puree I don't, I don't know what this is called, but you know, the stuff that you put in like a pumpkin filling. We've got our iced coffee in here. I'm gonna pour a little bit of creamer. You can also just use heavy cream. No, sour cream. Sour cream, yuck. Okay, so then we'll add one scoop of this. We'll add some pumpkin spice to this mixture. Boop, boop, boop. And then some agave for a natural sweetener. Boop. Okay, so this recipe is not my own. I actually found this on Ellie Richmond's Instagram stories and I tried it and it's amazing. So we're gonna take our little spinny thing here. Spinny thing. Um, oh, come on. There we go. And then you just stir it all up. And it gives your coffee a fall pumpkin-y flavor. It's so good, you guys. Yum. So we'll pop the top on. Give it a little taste test. Mm -hmm. Good. It's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to put all this mess away quick. We're going to get our shoes on and then head over to Mama Midge's house to start her morning routine. I've got my front door fall decor. We took this ramp down since I don't think my mom is ever coming in my house again, which is kind of sad, but I bought this plant at Home Depot the other day. This, yeah. These mums, I think they're so beautiful. I can't mm. wait till they're fully bloomed. I'm ready and then I got this doormat yeah. at Target. I hope you brought wine. Yeah. And then if we shut the door, this is my fall wreath that I bring it every year and then our fall sign. It says thankful, and on the other side of this, it says happy Halloween. Gang's all here. Mommy did let us have popsicles for breakfast. Me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> She's going to yell at me. You're not supposed to tell her those things. <laughs> okay, guys, you guys go in the back. Okay. Turn on TV. I need to break the towel. Don't make a huge mess. We're going to move Mom's trilogy out of the way for the morning. Another update, we took out mom's old shower that she used to shower in that used to be here to make room for her new Hoyer lift. So this is her Hoyer lift because she can't stand anymore on her legs. Her walker and then this is her feeding and turtle bag um, pole where we put her feedings into and then it can just go right into her G-tube and um, feed her basically throughout the day. Are you guys stealing snacks? Yeah, sometimes when we get hungry, we have to come out here at first 
and then get a snack. So what's on the snack menu today? Zaya's we, got applesauce pouches, and, and Meal's cheese got sticks. cheese sticks. Okay, so you should be all <laughs> set not to bug mom, right? Skadoo! You know your whole outfit is on backwards? Okay. <laughs> of course not. Okay. Now the real work begins. Mom is due for a serious haircut today, so I brought my scissors along. We're gonna wash her hair. I'll show you guys how we use her new cool wheelchair to back up to the sink and give her like a whole salon treatment with her hair. But we're gonna give her a bed bath right now, so for her discretion, I'm not gonna film anything with that, but basically I just soap, washcloth, and we just wipe her all down in bed. So we'll be right back. Okay, mom is all washed up and now we're gonna do her meds. So we've kind of reorganized this little area of her house over here for medications since there's other people besides me that are now caring for her. So I've got this whiteboard that I got from the dollar store and I basically gives an overview of what mom needs in the morning, her medications, her as needed medications, and how much water she should get flushed down her G-tube every day. So this is on her cabinet right above all of her medications. We've got this new pill organizer. This is morning only because some of her pills are BID or twice a day. Um, but everything she needs is right here. We've got our water, we've got everything to flush her meds, we've got her pill crusher, her pill cutter in case we have to cut one in half. So right now mom's on um, an antibiotic for her UTI. So we're gonna give her that. We're gonna give her an antispasmodic for her catheter. And then I'll show you guys how I empty out her catheter. <laughs> Okay, so next we're gonna empty mom's catheter bag here. So we just got one of these cool leg straps. We were taping her catheter tube to her leg, but tape really isn't good for the skin all the time. It can cause some skin breakdown and my mom already has some skin issues. You can see a little bit of bruising here just, just from her not being as mobile. Um, so this is cool. It just kind of tucks the tube in here and wraps around her leg so we don't have to use any tape. So that way the catheter can stay in place. And we can see a little bit of urine already here. Her urine looks good. There's no sediment. It's a good color. Um, and then we've got, this is her output for the night, which is pretty good for her. She has a little bit of drainage around her catheter, so we do put a pad underneath her. But we put this in uh, about a week and a half ago, I would say. Yeah, on the second. So we're going to drain this. We have our little dollar store bucket here. I just put this right underneath her bag like that and it will open up and then i just take this to the bathroom and flush it down the toilet so now we're gonna hoyer mom into her wheelchair so i'm gonna grab our mesh sling here this is an open mesh sling this is where her butt kind of sits and it's, there's a hole here so that way if she has to use the bathroom we don't have to take this sling completely out she can just have this sling underneath her all day and if she has to use the bathroom we just hoyer her up stick a bedpan under and she can use the bathroom with the sling still under her. Okay, we've got the towel, both ends. She's all set to go, so I'm gonna put this trapeze up and we're gonna lower her bed all the way down. Mom made a successful trip to her chair. This is her um, grooming care caddy that I made for her. So we've got shampoo, her body wash, hairbrush, toothbrush, razors, just everything she basically needs for her body care since we do it all like bed bath style now. So right now I'm gonna get our little toothbrush cup, fill it with some cold water, put a little bit of toothpaste, 
on her toothbrush. Let's see, where's her toothbrush? There it is. And set her all up to brush her own teeth. She can do that and I'll give her her razor if she wants to shave anything quick. Okay, next up is Robin's Hair Salon. So I'm gonna give my mom a full um, head wash today. I'll show you guys how we do that. We're gonna cut her hair today also because she's in desperate need of a haircut and then we're gonna blow her out, blow dryer. Um, my hair is already up in a bun because it gets super hot doing all this care and running around and lifting and all that stuff. So usually the hair goes up at some point during the day. Um, okay, so I'm gonna set the camera down and I'll show you guys how we wash her hair in her wheelchair at the sink. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down The kids have been pretty good back in the bedroom. They really haven't come out too much, which means it was a fairly easy morning with them. Sometimes they're out a lot asking for snacks and food, but um, who knows, they could have fallen asleep back there or they're just watching TV. So luckily, the kids have been good. Mom is all ready for the morning. Yay, she's clean, fresh hair. There's her fresh haircut. So all together, we came over about 9.30 and it's almost noon right now. So. Minus the haircut, I would say it's probably about two and a half hours that it normally takes us two, two and a half hours on a regular day um, just to get her up and washed and ready for the day, whereas it would take a normal person probably just a half hour for all that. So we have a morning shift, somebody that comes in the morning, me or one of the other aides. We have an afternoon shift starting at like one, one to four. I'll get it. And then um, an evening shift where you get her in bed. So we have a new aide coming today at one o'clock who I'm gonna bring the kids over again and I'm gonna help train her for an afternoon shift. My mom has physical therapy coming in about a half hour. So the last thing we're gonna do before the kids and I go home for a break and eat lunch is we're gonna hook her up to um, her feeding supplement. So kind of like her breakfast, lunch. It is getting more and more and more difficult for her to swallow. So she eats like the littlest amount now. She can do some eggs, um, a little bit of eggs, and she can do a little bit of dinner, but we are increasing her supplements now. So I'm gonna grab, she is on Jevity. She was on Osmolite, but Jevity has more iron. So I think we're gonna do two of these today, but for now we're just gonna do one in her um, tube. So I'll get these out. I just take all these little sticker things off, pretty much. It's kind of like hooking up an IV, if you've ever hooked up an IV. So her feeding goes in here. I just poured in, oh, I hear the door opening. The kids are coming out. Yes, Amelia, we're, we have, I'm just hooking Mima up to this and then we're gonna go home and you guys can eat lunch and all that fun stuff. We'll see, maybe we'll go to the park with friends. Okay, just give me one more second. Okay. Thank you. So I'm gonna pour it in, but first I'm gonna make sure that our tubing is all the way closed. It's got one of these Broly tubes, so all the way down means that it, the tubing is shut. And this holds probably like a couple of these, but for now we're just gonna do one. How does 
set this behind you? Lunch is done for the kids. We are back home. Yep. So let's see. Ah, Zay's yeah. favorite is peanut yes. butter and jelly with some watermelon. Don't show them yet. Oh, okay. Well, here's your lunch. Amelia's favorite is turkey cheese mayo with some show watermelon. Them. Show them. <laughs> Amelia is very excited. So this is her mini dollhouse she's been working on for about two days now. This is the living room. Yeah, and this is the bathroom. And this is the bathroom with the shower. I'll open it. Okay. Ooh, looks good. And this is the toilet. The sink. The yeah. toilet. She's very good in the window, right, Mia? We have about 20 minutes before we have to head back to my mom so I can train that other aid. So I made myself a salad. And I've got one of my pineapple coconut seltzer waters from Target. So I'm going to eat this quick and then back to my mom. <laughs> okay, we're getting our shoes back on. Lunch we're going is over, over there for a second. <laughs> I promise we're not going to be over there long. I just have to train someone quick and then we'll have the oh. rest of the afternoon. Oh, two cars in the driveway. Wow. Okay. Let's see. Physical therapy is probably still over there, my guess. Okay, so that took about an hour, which isn't too bad. I showed Tony, our new helper, everything. She's wonderful. She seems super, super nice. So I'm really happy that we're getting some good help for my mom. Our goal is to have pretty much 24 hour care for her. I'm on call all night obviously for her. She's usually pretty good when she's in bed. Um, but during the day, like I said, we've got three shifts of people and we're trying to fill some spots since I can't literally do it all, especially now that we have Amelia starting school tomorrow. I am driving her to and from school. So trying to work all these mom duties into my caregiving with my own mother. Um, it just ha takes a lot of scheduling and teamwork. So the kids, you gotta go potty? Yeah. The kids are ready to get some energy out and honestly I am ready for them to lose some of their energy. So I think Hello. next on the list is going to be the park. <laughs> okay. Okay, mom. Okay. Kids are done at the park, so it's off to McDonald's for a nice little treat to end this play date with McFlurries. Alright, we're back home. The kids have their treat. Yep. So until it is time to go back to get my mom in bed around like 6.15, 6.30, I'm probably pretty much going to spend the rest of the day folding laundry and probably doing the dishes and just keeping the house clean. Maybe take a second to unwind. Um, I'm just like go, 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 go all day with my mom. So there are days where I'm literally over there all day. Luckily we have Tony over there this afternoon, but sometimes it's me for all three shifts and then I literally get nothing done at my house. So at least I have this afternoon to myself and the kids today. Amelia has to take a bath so that we can get ready for school tomorrow. So there are still things on my own personal list that I need to get done trying to squeeze it in between everything. So I'm just trying to like, decompress here for a minute. Okay, you guys, the laundry is done, all of the dishes are done, and the kids and I are just relaxing on the couch watching some um, that couch. Carter share that couch. Our, the bed thanks ma'am our bed but Isaiah you can see his little hand right there <laughs> so cute I miss my babies being babies he's sleeping he fell asleep <laughs> So we have about 10 minutes left and then we have to go back over to my mom's 
and do like her evening routine. So she has, hi Cody. She has some meds that are twice a day. So I'm gonna do another flush with her and basically just get her into bed and hook her everything up for nighttime. So one more time. No bite, no bite. I just got back from my mom's house. She's in bed for the night and I just finished making dinner. Amelia is taking a bath for school tomorrow and then we're gonna get her all ready for the night. And Amir's here. Yay! So my inspiration was from this um, Joanna Gaines cookbook here and it's supposed to be chicken street tacos. I did not have lime or cilantro unfortunately because I was a little bit unprepared but we pretty much got everything else and mine looks just as good I think. So we got some shredded um, sharp cheddar cheese. There's some parmesan cheese there. Sour cream, fresh cut tomatoes, onions and garlic, mm, some corn and some shredded chicken that I cooked in the air fryer with some taco seasoning. So here's the final product. Yeah, let's give it a taste, guys. Okay, last thing for the night is getting Amelia's school stuff ready for tomorrow. I think we've pretty much got everything we need in here. She needed some sharpened ty Ticonderoga pencils. I put her name on it. She needed some tissues, which I got here again with her name on it. And then there's some forms that needed to be filled out and um, she's got a folder here. So, we have everything, Mom. What? Water bottle with my name on it. Oh, that's right, and a paint smack. So we need to get a water bottle with her name on it, which I believe we have the same one from last year. Yep. We'll have to re-put it on there with a Sharpie. But that's going to be her water bottle. She's got face masks in here. Let me set this down. I bought her some new face masks at Target the other day. So, oops. I'm just gonna cut these open and, um, you okay? <laughs> um, I'm gonna cut these open and we're gonna put her name on these, on the inside, so they don't get confused with anyone else's. This one is like a rainbow and this one's just pink. Let me grab a Sharpie. Also bought her some hand sanitizer, which I'm gonna put in her lunch pail so she, she can sanitize her hands before and after lunch. And stay safe during the COVID-19 crisis we're currently going through. <laughs> so I'm also gonna write her name on this so that nobody takes it. Amelia assembling her own sandwich for lunch. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mommy, are we going to the lunch room? No, you're gonna eat lunch at your desk. We're gonna show you guys Amelia's first Mom. day of school outfit. We showed up in the last vlog, I think. This is the shirt Mom. and her pants are inside here. Hang on, Zay. These like stripey, comfy, loose pants. And then we'll do her hair in the morning. Oh. I don't know what we're gonna do yet, but something cute, right? <laughs> okay, so Mom. to top everything off, yeah? Uh, I'm, a, I'm gonna say that don't think my mom butt. Why? <laughs> Amir just walked past and spanked my butt, so Isaiah did, does not approve of that behavior, Daddy. Um, everything is set for Amelia. Lunch-wise, backpack-wise, we are gonna do some nails, some first day of school nails. Hey, Tracy. Tracy. <laughs> Welcome to Robin Tracy's nail salon. I'm here again. So, oh, we need a paper towel. Go ahead, paper towel. To buzz, Amelia, buzz, cut, cut. <laughs> it's okay, we'll, we'll keep rolling. Um, Amelia bought this pretty blue shimmery color the other day at Sally's. I noticed, I noticed you forgot a towel. Oh, thank so you, darling. 
So first we're gonna take off her nail color that she already has on, right? You've got some pretty gold. And then we'll do this pretty blue now. color you picked out. Ooh. Look how pretty. Wow, Mia, do you love them? Yes. Hey guys, so the kids are asleep. Amelia is all set for her first day tomorrow. I just finished making her board. I can't believe that she's going into first grade already. This has been a crazy year with COVID and I hope that she has a really good first day tomorrow in school. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and end the vlog here because I'm completely exhausted um, and I have to pretty much do all this over again tomorrow but add Amelia's school into the mix. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Feel free um, to contact me through email or Instagram messenger or anything if there's any caregivers watching this that has questions about the type of care that I give to my mom. I would be happy to answer any questions. I love you guys and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comments are probably still off so you can't comment, but um, you can follow me on Instagram and uh, connect with me that way. So uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. Okay, everybody have a good night. Love you guys. Bye. Stumbling out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't wait